Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Godot 4 RPG series. Today we'll be adding UI for the enemy and for the player. First, we're going to import some assets, which will be our overbar for our UI, and then our progress bar. These two will be for our player. And once again, these assets will be available in the GitHub down below as long as well as all of uh, the game assets. What we're gonna wanna do next is create a canvas layer. And then we'll add two texture recs. One will be health UI full. Actually, this one will be the empty one. And this one will be health UI full. So we will also want to add our textures. So we will add for our progress here on UI full. And then here we'll want to add our underbar. What you'll want to do is depending on how much health your player has, before we do so though, we'll want to add to tile. Depending on how much health your player has, you will want to make sure that you set the correct amount of bars. But in the script, it will automatically do that. Now actually what we could do is delete this one and set this one up. So we will have four to represent our health for the player, which is four. And then we will save this as under player as our player health UI then we can duplicate and then we can replace the texture here before we move on rename our nodes this one will be our full and then we will add a script So the first thing we're going to want to do is have our variables set. So this will be four and our max hearts will also be four. Then we will do on ready var player is equal to get parent dot get node player. Then we will do on ready var health empty is equal to health UI empty. Then on ready var healthful is equal to healthful, health UI full. Okay, so now we will do the following. If player is not equal to null, so in case the player is dead or not in the scene, we'll do health that player changed dot connect change texture. We will add this signal to our player script later. It's giving us an error because we need to initiate our function. So we will create func uh, change texture. Now will it be a value assigned? Hearts is equal to value, not maximum hearts. If hearts is greater than or equal to zero, to update the size, if hearts is less than or equal to maximum hearts then we will do health full dot size dot x is equal to hearts times 32. what this is basically doing is taking the amount of health the player has and it is multiplying the texture by 32 because that is the width of our texture so you need to make sure that you're changing this value to the actual value of your texture for the hearts. Okay, so we will go over to our player script and we will add a new signal, which will be called health changed. And then we will add a value to it. Then we will go down and we will add at the very bottom of this function here, emit signal health changed and then we will attach our player's health 
and we will also add another signal and this one will be called our enemy attacked which will have no value assigned and under this function here we will do emit signal enemy attacked okay now we are going to add our enemy health bar so under any scene that you have that has the enemy what you can do is go over here and then we will just add a progress bar we'll rename this to enemy health and then we will change the values here to four or uh, whatever value you would like to assign it's going to change in the script and then we're going to toggle off show percentage we will move it up just slightly so it's above our sprite and then we will scale it laterally then we will save then we will go to our enemy script and under our ready function we will add the following variable player is equal to oh well we could just copy and paste and then we're going to connect our player to enemy attacked and then we will have our function change health bar which we will have to add next so under our physics or anywhere you would like we will add our change health bar and all we're simply going to do is do health bar dot value is equal to health all right let's make sure that we have uh, under on readies on ready var health bar is equal to enemy health one last thing before we do other changes and play the game is we will do a health bar dot maximum value is equal to health then health bar dot value is equal to health so under our world you gotta want to make sure that the attack power is set to one otherwise nothing will change and then we will also want to add our canvas layer health UI and we will save so once you start the game you can press play and you'll see our UI is up there you can scale it to make it bigger or smaller and when we attack the enemy gets damaged however we can also receive damage if you guys enjoyed this video please do leave a like and subscribe i will have all the assets and the entire game in the github down below otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video